Comes over as far as Joseph Cooney. Diagonally across. Down there once again towards Carl Mannion. Mannion got the first two points, and he's now got a third. Little pass retained there by Barry Nash, who, of course, played in the forwards for much of his career before moving back to number four. Good dispossession here by Adam English off his left-hand side, sweeping it up into the air and up between the uprights and over. And O'Neill then skips away from the challenge of Evan Nyland, helped out by Dermot Burns into the centre here. William O'Donoghue all the way over here. Garroyd Hegarty looks up, sees the target, down to his right and drives it up and over the crossbar. Here's Nyland, the 25-year-old from Claren Bridge. Son is almost attempting to come out here. Crazy day in Galway. It's a good-looking one. It's a brilliant one. It's over. It's Galway 17 points. It's Limerick 17 points. Conditions at Corrigan Park made things difficult for both teams, but Antrim managed to get off to the better start with the opening score of the game coming from Aidan O'Brien in the first minute. Shortly before the break, the first goal of the afternoon arrived with Jake Morris eventually finding the back of the net to help Tipperary into a 1-10 to 4 points half-time lead. Tipperary were always in control, however, and added a further score in the 47th minute when Jason Ford found the target from long range to register his first point from play. There was to be a second goal for Tipperary before the final whistle, with Morris the man to find the net with a rasping shot, leaving Antrim keeper Cormac McFadden with little chance as Tipperary now head for the league semi-finals. It finished Antrim 12 points, Tipperary 2.21. So Bennett takes this, 65. Oh, it's been whipped to the net by Patrick Curran. That's a real tonic for this Waterford side. Oh, Chancellor, another goal here, and they've got it. Desi Hutchinson. This is Shane Murphy. In between the sides. Is this the levelling score? It is. Own Cody off the left. This shows you the weather conditions on the back of. Davy Fitzgerald's jacket there. This is Cody again. And flips it forward. Chance perhaps of a, a goal here for Kilkenny. They're going to have to be content with the point. Kilkenny 18 points. Water for 2 9. Rebels mint business from the throw in as Kieran Joyce sprinted into space to pop over the first score with just 15 seconds on the clock. Their start got even better as Patrick Horgan played a ball across and Alan Connolly was on hand to see it home. Finally, Wexford got off the mark seven minutes into the game with this fine point from Seamus Casey. Cork put the foot down and in came a long ball from Owen Downey to Alan Connolly and he raised his second green flag and had 2-2 to his name as half-time approached. They registered a few more scores after to head in at the break with a comfortable 14-point lead. Then came some magic from Decky Dalton with his flick up into the pat of Brian Hayes to pop over another score for Pat Ryan's side. And after numerous goal chances throughout, Alan Connolly eventually got his hat-trick. Wexford gained a late consolation goal from Seamus Casey but it made no difference as Cork finished with a win and a total of 12 different scorers. Full-time Wexford 1-15, Cork 3-21.